Hey guys, today we're here at Lake Fayette. Fayette. And thank God it's a power plant lake and the power plant's running because we had a cold front that came through a couple days ago that I I was on uh, Lake Bastrop for and it is here. So water should be warm, but uh, the air is definitely cold. It's going to take a uh, a windbreaker today. We got high winds. Gonna have to hide from that. And um, I see some stumps out there. So this one's gonna be a little different. Uh, the wind's blowing pretty good, but I think we can find a, a way to get out of the wind real easy from here. This is a uh, county park or something like that. So you have to pay five bucks to get in. They got rules. It's uh, got quite a few people. It's Sunday, like the 19th, I think, of uh, April. So, let's get it going. Alright guys, in case there's any doubt, this is a power plant lake. We are on Fayette and the power is on. Of course there's warnings down here so I can't go very far, but um, just thought you might want to look at a feat of modern ERCOT engineering, a power plant that is actually running. That guys, a power plant in Texas that is actually running. Amazing, isn't it? Well, we're gonna get out of here because this is kind of an off-limits place. But um, it is out of the wind, which was nice. But anyway, we're on the move now, and uh, not a single bite here today so far. We're gonna have to prioritize staying out of the wind and uh, see what we can do. All right, guys. This is tough, tough. You can probably hear the wind blowing. Uh, I'm behind this like wave break wall that protects the power plant back there from, uh, from huge wave action. Because that's north and that's where the wind's coming from like crazy right now. So anyway, this is pretty interesting because it's a warm water place. It kind of feels salty sometimes. A lot of seagulls and stuff like that. No luck, a lot of wind, so I gotta take shelter and get out of this. It's driving me crazy. And uh, so we're gonna go up to the north side, take shelter up there. Didn't see a single fish, didn't get a single bite down here by the uh, power plant. So it is what it is. Let's move on. Let's move on. All right, guys, we're on Fayette today in Fayette County. And this is a uh, proven to be a tough little lake. Uh, the wind is just knocking me down badly. And uh, of course, I'm never gonna lie to you guys. If I get a bite, I'll let you know. I haven't gotten a bite yet. If I catch a fish, I'm sure you'll see it. But uh, funny thing I'm seeing, which is kind of strange, is a lot of people throwing cast nets right around the park here. Really strange. I don't know what the story is, but uh, I guess it's for catching bait or something, but man, these guys are everywhere. And all I'm limited to now is these areas that I can find on the north side of these coves because the wind is just killer. So uh, anyway, pounding the reeds for bass, looking for carp, we'll see. Give it a few more hours and we're going to call it a day, whether we catch anything or not. So stick with me and we'll just see what happens. There goes another cast net. 
Strange. Well guys, it's getting late in the day. Um, you know, my motto is see the fish, be the fish, catch the fish. Well, I haven't seen any fish, really. Uh, I've seen some baby bass on giant beds. The beds here are the size of 18 wheeler tires. They're huge. I'll mark on the map where the beds are, but you know, I'm not into fishing beds anyway. Bass beds, so. I mean, you can see them plain as day. It looks a lot like what I used to see when Monticello was a cooling lake. It is no longer a cooling lake. This one is. So whether bass are on beds or not, it's kind of like a crapshoot because the water is a, is a different temperature than the rest of the state's lakes at any given time. I mean, the thing's warm, so. They could be on now, they could be on in December, uh, which this, this lake is warm enough that I will be coming back in the winter time to, uh, to mess around with it. But I haven't seen a single carp. I've seen a couple of granel. I don't know what to do with those. And I have uh, seen those little baby bass trying to like pre-bed or whatever they are doing, post-bed, guard bed, whatever. But they're little bitty guys and they're just scared as, as a, as a March hare. So anyway, I'm gonna get my butt kicked here. I probably got three more hours before I have to leave sundown. Um, so we're gonna start moving and grooving, see if we can find somewhere else that, that has something to offer. Stick with me guys, it's almost over. <laughs> this, is, this, is a, this is a painful one. All right, guys, it looks like we're about done. I threw everything, including the kitchen sink at these guys. I, it's blind casting all day long. So it's a, and the clouds came back over. So that make it, makes it impossible to see fish, even if they're there. Um, I've got a screenshot. I shot a picture of the screen with all these beds. So you can see just how crazy, and I do mean crazy, the number of beds are that are here. I mean, it's just like, moonscape under the water it's unbelievable and some of these are as big as like an 18 wheeler inner tube you know back in the day 18 wheelers used to have inner tubes and so that's how i mean fully expanded blown up inner tube is just how big some of these beds are it's crazy and it makes sense though it's crazy but it makes sense because this water is the same temperature almost give it or take five degrees year round so uh, at 75 degrees today middle of april um is what it is i don't know but give them a best shot hope you guys enjoyed this uh, for what it was worth and i'll put a map on there showing the beds just because um, i did figure out what those guys are doing over there with all the cast netting going on which are i mean just bunches of guys throwing cast net got to be tilapia that's what i'm thinking they're they're cast netting for tilapia and uh i never saw them catch a single one but they they managed to probably rake every single bed that was around me before me and sometimes after me but um that's what those guys are up to if you see them out here um what a true pain but anyway i guess it's normal so I've never been here, so I don't know. I don't know what normal is. So, thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe, Texas Flycaster. My name is Shannon, and on to the next lake.